Apparently, he made some calls to China right after the January 6 attack on the Capitol. And in those calls, he told the Chinese, according to Woodward, that don't worry about any craziness from Trump. Yes, he is a loon. This is Milley's words. But I'm, I'm controlling the nuclear stuff, and it's not going to be, nothing's going to happen. Is that true? I think the calls were made because Woodward and Costa would have to have a um, not a transcript, but a record of those calls before they could do this. So they have a record. Somebody leaked them a record from within the Pentagon that Milley made calls, not only to China, but to other nations as well. But China is a big one. So the allegation is that Milley circumvented the Constitution and did a silent coup by telling foreign nations, I'm really in charge. Remember Alexander Haig did that off the cuff when Ronald Reagan uh, was in physical trouble after the assassination attempt? I'm in charge here. Remember that? But, hey, but this, is, this is much more calculated, if it's true. If it's true. So the right wants to believe it's true. Conservatives want to believe it's true. And even some liberals are going, oh, Millie, you've got to be court-martialed, uh, you got to be tried for treason, whatever. That's always the way it goes in this country. Now, we don't have any evidence of what was said in those phone calls, but we could get it, and easy. And I'll tell you that in a moment. So Woodward and Costa write the book, All Anonymous Sources. they got to have some sensational stuff where the book won't sell. Uh, the most sensational is that Millie thought Trump was dangerous and Trump might do something with the nuclear code. And Milley called China to say, don't worry about it. I'm in really in charge and nothing's going to happen. That's according to Woodward and Costa. OK, so here's what we know for sure. Here's what we know for sure. Milley did make the call, but we don't know what was said. But the Senate Foreign Relations Committee could tomorrow issue a subpoena to find out the transcripts, to get the transcripts of the call, unless there are no transcripts, and that would be very, very unusual. All right? So that's what should happen tomorrow. All right? All the people on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee get the subpoena. We want the transcript of the calls, any calls, maybe between, say, December 1st, 2020, and Inauguration Day, that Milley made to China. We want them. Let's see them. Right? Because then you get, if you get the transcript, you know what the deuce happened. And you don't have to listen to endless speculation in the media. The second thing that I know is that Milley wanted to keep his job. So he's a Trump appointee. Right? And Biden was elected. And Biden's going to be sworn in, and Milley wants to keep his job. Hmm. So Milley could very well have made some calls, and of course he would tell the Biden people, "Hey, you know, look, I'm, I'm laying the groundwork for you to take over. Don't worry, nothing's going to happen crazy. Even though we all know that Trump's a loon, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that probably happened. Now this is speculation on my part." It's speculation, but I would bet a million dollars that that's exactly what motivated General Milley. Keep his job. 